day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice in it, we shall be glad in it. I welcome you all, my brothers, my sisters, to this first day of the month of May. God has seen us through from January, February, March, April, and now we are in May. I am delighted many of us are able to join so early this morning, 6 a.m. Oh, it's a good thing to join together and to pray together to the Lord. As you have come to Zion, he said we shall go from strength to strength as we present ourselves in Zion. Father, Lord God, I pray for all these, your sons, all your daughters who are here this early morning to present themselves before you. Father, let us all go from strength to strength in the name of Jesus Christ. You have come here. You will receive power. Even as we are going through this prayer session, this prophetic session for the month of May together in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I'm sure we remember that our theme for the year is our year to overcome. And God has been taking us through different aspects that he wants us to overcome in. For this month of May, he wants us to overcome poverty because poverty is afflicting so many, even in the house of God. Some, it's poverty in their health, some in their ideas, some in their worldview, some in their pockets. Poverty afflicts not only finances, it can afflict every aspect of our lives. That's why 3 John verse 2 says, I wish above all things that thou prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Let's turn that to a prayer. Father, Lord God Almighty, it is your wish, it is your desire, it is your will that I should prosper, that I will be in health, even as my soul prospers. I receive prosperity for my soul, for my spirit, for my body. I receive prosperity for the spirit, souls, and bodies of your sons and daughters joining on this program, whether they are with us live now or they are joining on later. Father, Lord God, let there be a manifestation of prosperity in our spirits, in our souls, in our bodies, and in everything that we lay our hands on this month. Not just in the month of May, but all through this season, and indeed for the rest of our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every month we trust God to give us at least a lead scripture. The lead scripture he has given us for this month of May is found in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. He says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to prosper, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Father, that is the scripture you have given us. Father, we continue to look up to you for that power, for that power to continue to overcome, to overcome poverty. I receive power. I receive grace. I receive, Father, Lord God, knowledge. I receive instructions. I receive revelations. I receive solutions to mysteries that will unlock prosperity unto your children. Prosperity in all they do, at their place of work, in the marketplace, in their health, in their work with you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we magnify your name, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now, May is the fifth month. Five stands for two major things. One, five stands for grace. Five also represents the hands of God. Let's turn that into prayer. Father, you have brought me into the fifth month. This is the month of grace. Father, I receive your grace. All I shall do this month, I will do by your grace. Everything, whether I'm going to work, whether I'm in business, 
whether I am in salaried employment, whatever the sphere of life I am engaged in, I receive your grace. Father, give me your grace, O Lord. And because this is the fifth month, the month of the hands of God, let your hands rest over my head. Father, let your hand rest over my head. Let your hands guide me. Let your hands protect me. Let your hands provide for me. Let your hands defend me in the name of Jesus Christ. This indeed is my season, my month. I will experience multiple grace. I will experience the hands of God. Father, let your hands continue to be seen over the lives of your children, over the lives of their own children, over the lives of our family members. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Today is the first day of May. In many countries in the world, today is observed as Workers' Day. Now let's begin to pray for workers. We are all in different categories. Some of us, or maybe our children, are looking for jobs. Father, as we celebrate Workers' Day all over the world today, we remember members of our families, members of our church that are looking for jobs. Some are young graduates. Some have done their youth service. Some are just graduating. Father, we pray. You are the way maker. You are the one that is able to make a way where there seems to be no way. Father, please make way for our young people trusting you for jobs. Father, get, give them good jobs, O Lord. Give them favor to get good jobs, jobs that will delight you, jobs that will fulfill them in the name of Jesus Christ. Some are not looking for jobs. They are working already. Today is Workers' Day. Father, we commit all our brethren who are working into your hands. You will have good health to work well. You will find favor with your employers. Receive wisdom to excel at work. Receive grace to know what to do. You will not work in vain. You will not labor in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. Because of you, where you are working, will find grace with the Lord, will find favor with the Lord. Joseph was working in the house of Potiphar. The Bible says, God prospered Potiphar because of Joseph. The grace you carry, your covenant is superior to that of Joseph. Your place of work shall be blessed because of you. Your employers will know that God is blessing them because you are there in the name of Jesus Christ. Now that is the third category. Some of us, we have worked and we have retired. Father, Lord God, we commit into your hands all your children who have retired from active service. We pray we will enjoy our retirement uh, season. We pray that all we have labored for will not burn before our very eyes in the name of Jesus. Some have built houses. Your houses, you will not sell it in distress. Some have built reputations. Your, your reputations will not go up in flames. You will enjoy your retirement season with joy, with good health, with sound mind in the name of Jesus. You will not be afraid because it says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he has given unto us a spirit of power, of of. Of, and of a sound mind. You will enjoy soundness of mind. You will operate in power. You will continue to spring forth in good health. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Even though you may be in your room, you may be in the, your office, you may be in your vehicle, wherever you are, because we are together in the presence of God. We have come unto Zion. We are before the God of Zion. And he says, when we come to Zion, we go from strength to strength. I pray over you, spirit, soul, and body, that because you are partaking in this program, you will go from strength to strength. 
you will go from grace to grace. You will receive extra grace, extra strength, extra power because you have come unto Mount Zion, because you have come to the innumerable company of angels. You have come unto the company of saints made perfect. You have come to the blood of sprinkling. Father, Lord God, the blood of Jesus will speak for us, even this early morning, in the name of Jesus. That same blood will speak for you all through the month of May and indeed for the rest of the year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Some of us are baptized in the Holy Spirit. If you are, just for the next minute or so, begin to speak forth in this language of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, we do not know how to pray, though that it is the Holy Spirit that helps our infirmities. It says, building up yourself in your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Oh, Shabra we are starting the day well. We are starting the month well in the presence of the Most High. We are starting even by the grace of God. We are starting resting on the hands of the Most High God. And because we are starting well, we are starting strong. This month shall go well for you. All through this month, you will continue to dwell under the shadows of the Most High God, you will dwell in the secret place of the Most High. You will abide under His shadows. It shall be well with you this month. No weapons fashioned against you or fashioned against your spouse or fashioned against your children or your siblings, those weapons, they shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says, they that wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength. You have come early to wait on the Lord. You have come early to seek him. I pray as the Lord lives, as his word is yea and amen, you will mount up with wings as eagles. You will run and not be, be weary. You will walk and not faint. Not just today alone, not just this month of May alone, but indeed for the rest of the year. Indeed, for the rest of your lives, you will receive assistance from the Lord. Strangers will come and they will assist you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not be stranded. You will not labor in vain. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, you see, God deposits ideas in his children. Some through their dreams, some through revelations, some when they encounter men of God or they go to church, some ideas come and they come like pregnancies. I begin to pray, turn that into a prayer, that Father, every good plan, every good idea you have deposited in me like a pregnancy, this season I will bring forth. I will bring forth the good ideas. I will bring forth the revelation, the, the, the mystery that will solve problems, both for me, for my employers, for my church, for my family. Things that have been impossible before now, things I could not do. I receive grace this morning. I receive grace in this month of grace to overcome long-standing problems, to overcome long-standing challenges in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether they are generational, whether I, 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 I contracted them by my foolishness or by my sin or by my indiscretion. Father, Lord God, let me enter a season of separation from those things that have been afflicting me. Whatever is afflicting you, spirit, soul, or body, or afflicting your plans, receive grace to overcome it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. You see, 
The God, your God, my God, is the one that makes seasons. Is the one that is in control of time and of season. Let me just read a verse for us in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. Genesis 1, 14. It says, And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, for seasons, for days, and for years. So God is interested in every day. He's interested. He's the one that formed them in weeks. He's interested. In months, he's interested. In seasons, in years. We have entered a new month today. We have entered a new season. All the goodness packaged with this season begin to receive them in the name of Jesus. Father, you have brought me into a new day. You have brought me into a new month. You have brought me into a new season. The season of your grace. The season of the hands of the Lord. The season when I will overcome poverty. I receive, Father, all you have packaged with this season in the name of Jesus Christ. There are signs and wonders meant to happen this month of May. I receive my portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Our parish, the temple of God, we will receive our own portion of the signs and wonders designed for this month in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. This shall be a season of divine visitation for you. God will visit you. God will visit your home. God will visit your children. God will visit every area of your life that is in need of divine visitation. It shall be a season of encounters for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Apart from that Deuteronomy verse, we have a second scripture for this month of May. It's found in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Let me just read it for us. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then, Thou shalt make their way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. The Bible says there is success, there is also good success. There is a way of making your way prosperous. They are hidden in the word of God. Turn that into a prayer. That yes, Father, you have said you want us to overcome poverty. There are hidden secrets. There are revelations I need to overcome. As I study your word this month, as I attend programs, Father, Lord God, let me receive the revelation. Let me know what to do so that I will have good success in the name of Jesus. I will not remain the same way. This is my season of change. I will sing a new song. I will turn a new page in the name of Jesus Christ. I've been hearing others having testimonies. They will hear my own testimonies too. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we magnify your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible tells us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle against wicked spirits, principalities, powers, and rulers of darkness. Let's begin to speak forth against all forces that are resisting you. Father, Lord God Almighty, you are Jehovah, the man of war. Father, Lord God, come and empower your children to be able to overcome in this fierce battle, in this fierce battle. There are enemies that will never let go of you. Father, I pray that as you broke the backbone of the forces and the, and the gods in the land of Egypt that didn't want your children to go. Father, do the same for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Every force working against our progress is crushed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God, you are the one that is Jehovah, the man of war. Father, come and help us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I commit your children into your hands. It's a new day. It's a new season. It's a new month. This month, you will arise. You will shine because your light is come. Because the glory of the Lord is risen upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Lord that shows mercy. God will show you mercy this month. God will show you mercy. You will obtain mercy. You will find mercy. Mercy at work. Mercy when you travel. Mercy when you are at home. When you are sleeping, you will obtain mercy. When you are in, in uh, when you are afraid, you will obtain mercy. When you are looking for favor, you will obtain mercy. Jesus found favor with God and with men. You too, you will find favor with God. You will find favor with men. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. I wish you can pray more. Well, our 20 minutes is here. Father, take all the glory. Father, take all the honor. See your children through this month. This month, you will live, you will not die. This month is your month of visitation. And as you have joined us this month, you will be alive and well next month also. We are live on Zoom. We are live on YouTube and also Facebook. God bless you. You can still share the link with members of your family and your friends so that they too can partake in this. God bless you. Bye-bye.